Hello everybody, John here. And today onto the garage, we're doing one of the uh, secrets of the XK8, potentially the most requested of all the secrets. Um, you might say it's actually a modern maintained thing, but the fact that I get asked so many questions about it, it says it is uh, a secret. And that is how to locate and change the pollen filter or cabin filter on a Jaguar XKA XKR. Here's one. And um, I've got to say, before you uh, start this process, you'd need to be able to take off the windscreen wipers. And we have a separate video on that. And uh, I'll put a link in the um, in a card. So I think it'll be above to my, my left right now. Uh, if you want to see how to take the wipers off, which can be really easy, but can be tricky, um, check out that little card up there. If you're enjoying this series of videos, uh, whether it be Secrets of the XK8, Modern Maintain, uh, Restoring Olive, the T2, sorry, any of the stuff we're doing, then uh, I ask a favour, please subscribe. Please press the bell icon, which allows me to notify you of basically anything that's upcoming as I try to make the channel a little bit more interactive and get quizzes and a few uh, live streams going. Without that bell clicked, it's kind of pointless because you won't know it's happened until it's happened. And please share, Let's try and grow the channel and reach more people. So, on to it. So the cabin filter or pollen filter is there to take mostly pollen, um, very small particulates out of the air before they're pumped through your either air conditioning, ventilation or heating system into the interior. And this is an aftermarket pollen filter for the XK8. Um, first thing to get into is, um, this is not like most cars, a quick find the hatch, pop it in uh, situation. It's not a five minute change. The second thing is, do not go and buy one of these and then go and investigate um, where it's going to go, etc. Because the pollen filter, or the pollen filter housing, I should say, actually, is an option on these cars. And it was not a common option. Uh, in fact, I think in America, um, particularly there are very few cars that actually have this fitted some do it is an option you can order it um, in the uk uh, we do suffer a little bit at particular times of the year with pollen um, and rapeseed oil everywhere and all the rest of it for whatever reason there's a decent smattering of cars with the cabin filter fitted but i think it's just one of the items but when people were specking their cars from new They'd spec the nice big alloys, they'd spec the nice leather or the wood that they liked. You can neither see nor feel the benefit 90% of the time of these things. Plus, the vast majority of XK8s, XKRs ever built were convertibles, which again, you know, draws the question mark over this. My car has one, which is lucky <laughs> in terms of demonstrating this. Um, and I've bought this filter uh, so that we can demo it. So where does it live? It lives under this panel, the scuttle panel. So um, your first mission is to remove the windscreen wipers. As I said before, follow the card up above. And you've removed the little rubber hoses that connect the screen wash to the wipers so you can take them away completely. Then you've got to undo the screws. The next thing is you need to find the four hidden screws there's these little elliptical lossing shaped covers. You can pull them off with your fingernails or use a plastic tool because they are painted. And they're gonna reveal Phillips screw heads. One, two, three, and one up the far end, four. And then you've got another two in the corners here, tucked away and two on show in the middle of the engine bay. So I'm gonna whip those out. Yeah. 
These screws are plastic, the ones up here. And what it's going through is a little expanding rivet or scrivet. So just be aware of that when you're undoing them. go all the screws removed so with all 10 screws removed you can unhook these little rubber bands but hook onto a plastic uh, hook on the edge of the scuttle panel they're in a previous secret and if they're unhooked now you've got to investigate to see if the areas inside these panels are rotted because without them hooked on, these areas will collect water and you get your carpets wet inside. So unhook those. Remember you're gonna be putting them back on and gently ease the scuttle panel up. There are loose, well, they're not meant to be loose. There are black clips underneath the holes on most of these uh, screw holes that can drop off. So be careful what you're doing. You don't want to lose those. Maybe a little bit, little bit stuck. The chances of anybody having actually serviced your uh, pollen filter are slim. And hence, this panel may never have been off in the lifetime of your car. I've got the full history on my car and I know that this has never been serviced. Okay, so that is the pollen filter. That is original equipment. That's how they look if they're fitted from new. There may be nothing at all here, including no plastic frame, which I'll show you the frame in a moment. It may just be a hole in your bulkhead with a blanking plate. That is normal. If you wanted to fit aftermarket this uh, pollen filter, you would have to buy the black plastic frame. And to fit the black plastic frame, you will have to remove the wiper arm mechanism and again, not five minutes of work. So, this has a couple of tabs. Hopefully you can just about see, there we go. One there, and that is a lift tab. And lifting it, in theory, releases the pollen filter to fall forward. There's another one and it's just out of line of sight unfortunately but it's here on this higher side it's like a notch as it goes underneath the mechanism and you give that a lift as well my pollen filter is not going to drop forward and again you can tell just by looking at it it's never been out of there so i'm going to get myself a screwdriver and lever it forward I uh, managed to get a little bit of extra light in there for you. Um, access ain't great. So basically, I'm going to get my screwdriver above the pollen filter. Because I'm changing this, I'm less worried about damaging it, but it is easily damaged. I'm basically levering forward. There's a little rubber scoop here just to the side i just move the camera you see it this thing deflects the water probably just gonna maneuver that out of the way there we go in order to get that to come down a bit further then there you go. 
pulling it up through that gap. And you've got to wriggle it out from this end. There we go. Looking a bit like a bee's comb, honeycomb. That is the original equipment, very expensive, I've got to say as well. Um, pollen filter for the Jaguar XK, XKR. Flip that over for you. That's the side that goes towards the car and is made of plastic, perforated. Around the edge, stuck on foam and the element is basically a series of tubes surrounded by bristles and then inside there there is most of it's gone as you can see you can see straight through a lot of this um, there is some filter media but it's broken down in a lot of places. So this is 23 years old and not doing its job. You can actually see pollen there if you, don't know how good the film will come out, but the little tiny dots on the end of all the hairs. So that's what an original equipment one looks like. Let's have a look at the aperture. So this frame with the kink in it, so it goes across the width, but it's got this high spot on this side, that isn't there on the majority of cars. All that's there is you can see in the background the edge of a rectangular hole. There's that hole with a plastic cover screwed to it and two studs, welded studs coming out of the um, bodywork. So to fit this which you can buy you know you search around on eBay and the like you'll find somebody selling one um, you can retrofit it but to do that you're going to be taking out all of your wiper mechanism um, if you're on a convertible your strengthening struts it's uh, it's not five minutes it's a lot of effort you're going to see a massive difference in construction quality here so both of these are now the side that goes into the car. On the original equipment one, we've basically got a black plastic grid. And then round the edge, a bit of stuck on foam rubber. This one's also got the stuck on foam rubber, but it has no um, plastic construction whatsoever. It's basically a paper element um, that's been made up to the right size and then surrounded and whilst on the Jaguar one the filter in the construction if you like goes up into this dog leg area on this that is just a block of solid foam to block off that top area flip it over this is the side that faces the air in so literally the side that does the filtering on the original the whole surface is doing a task and on the aftermarket, just the lower edge is doing the task. Um, the aftermarket one does have this, which is something you can grab hold of to push it in and pull it out. So that's quite useful. And this one, Blueprint is the make. There's the model if you want to get the same airflow direction marked and you know this way is nothing let's talk prices why haven't I gone for original equipment well a I know I'm not going to see any actual benefit for this swap this is more for the interest of doing it and keeping my car in as good a nick as I can um, but if I wanted that the best price I've seen those in the UK at the moment is about 70 pounds um, I've had subscribers tell me that in their parts of the world it's the equivalent of at least £100 
for this. And that's not to do with how clever it is, that's to do how how uncommon they are. You know, people don't want them, people don't know they're there, um, they're not fitted to cars, there's not a lot of demand, so they can charge what they, what they fancy. This is uh, from Blueprint. Um, Blueprint are just a reasonably well-known maker of pattern parts. They make all sorts of stuff, including brake discs. Um, so they get other people to make things. And typically their stuff works. It's fine. As you can see, this, this is going to do the task. But the construction is nothing like that. And this still cost, uh, I think it was £29 in the UK at the time of writing. Writing, <laughs> speaking. Um, you can definitely see these for about £12 in the UK through eBay. But if you start to dig around, what you realise is they will make you one from bits and pieces to this pattern. And it might be brilliant and it might be absolutely appalling. There's no way of knowing. At least with this, it is a brand name. They make stuff. This won't be the first time they made one of these. So there you go. Installing it is relatively easy. The lump of foam is on the left hand side of the car as you look forward at the cockpit. And you've got to manoeuvre this underneath the wiper mechanism. It is quite delicate and you've got to flex it a little bit. So just do it slowly. Try not to cause any more damage to it than you have to. And okay, she's vaguely in the right place. Okay, move this little plastic duct out of the way. Because there's no plastic frame inside this, you can squash it down to nothing. So it's going to go in easy. But again, try not to damage it. There'll be quite a lot of tinkering and finessing just to get it positioned nicely because it's never going to really snap into those clips. The original didn't either, and this is much softer. So I'm going to try my best to give you a view. So that is tucked into the top there nicely. The bottom looks like it's Correct. Hard to tell because the foam edging is actually on the other side, the back edge. So you've got this sort of gap around the edges of it. And it's not going to fall out. A, it's got a reasonable grip. And B, the airflow is pushing it into position anyway. There we go. So that is the pollen filter installed. Ironically, the best shot seems to be from way over here with a light shine on it. <laughs> there you go. That is the pollen filter installed. Now, at this stage, I'm just going to reassemble things. Um, if you had done a retrofit which I'm definitely not going to demonstrate because I don't need to um, then obviously you've got to replace all your wiper arms and everything else but allegedly there is another step as well and that is that the cars that have the pollen filter have their intake fan or their um, air conditioning fan let's say software upgraded to run slightly faster in all circumstances to allow for the extra restriction that the filter actually gives it. Now I've read that in a few places. It sounds like folklore to me, but I can't confirm or deny. So that might be if you were really pernickety and you've bought yourself a frame, gone to all the trouble of fitting it, want to put a filter in, 
you might want to go and speak to a Jaguar, de Jaguar dealer with some people who actually understand XK8s and ask them, do you need some sort of upgrade to turn the fan speed up? As mine's already got fans upgraded, if necessary, <laughs> if it's a real thing, it isn't something I'm going to consider. And if I had upgraded to putting this in, I wouldn't bother. I don't think that's going to add enough restriction to have any effect whatsoever. Get my rubbish. Old filter, which I might save just for reference purposes. A number of people who ask me about this. But um, that is how to locate and change the pollen or cabin filter in your XK XKR. Hope you've enjoyed that, guys. And um, I hope to see you again soon on to the garage.